Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to continue with part 2 of data with Danny case study challenge number 1 Danny's dinner. I have linked the description section to the first video as well. Go through it if you want. Today we are going to start from question number 8 here. So we have done till question 7 previously, but you do not need to know how to solve those questions to do the remaining questions, okay? I'll quickly guide you through what is the data about if you're new. So basically you can use this script copy paste it into your sql instance and get the table ready basically he has three tables there's a members table there's a menu table as you see then there is also like a sales level table okay and i'm going to solve question number 8 first basically this one uh what is the total items and amount spent for each member before they become a member so let's uh, see the tables once so this is the sales table right customer when did they make the order when you know what product they got okay then to identify the product name we have this table so product id 1 is sushi and then you also have the price of the product and so on for the other two products then we also have another table called members which basically shows you when they become a member only a and b have become members c is yet to become a member okay so with this information in mind let's try to do the eighth question what is the total items and amount spent for each member before they became a member so let me just maybe copy this question and we can have it here okay and i'll put this within comments cool so we know that only a and b are members so we want to know what is the total items they have purchased right like the distinct items and the amount they have spent before they became a member right so for this what we can do we can use the first table right sales table from that table uh, we have customer id we can select customer id for sure and uh, we have also order date right we can also select that right this is from table number 1 and then we can join it with the members table so let's do a left join because i also want to show see initially um so i left join uh, cricket or members 1 that's the name of the table and i'll call it b and i'll join it on basically customer id right a dot customer id equal to b dot customer id and from the second table let's get uh, the join date okay so i think this will be interesting to see um, and also we need to join with the third table menu because we want to get also the amount spent right so what can we do we can do a normal join with the third table which is cricket or uh, yeah menu one uh, i'll call it c and i'll say on a dot product id right product id is the link between these two tables and from that i can also get uh, the c dot price i think cool let's run this and see what we get so now we get 15 rows we get like when they joined and we also get uh, if you notice the the price of the item they got maybe we'll also get the name of the product so we'll show c dot product name as well so this is all the purchases they have made question is what did they spend before each of them became a member right so for that what can we do a simple condition we can put is where the you know order date is before the joining date so order date less than b dot join date okay this is the data we want and we know we have only five rows right basically only these people so b a b b a whatever that is so now we want to add up and see uh, you know how much they have spent how many unique items they have purchased so for that we can put all this into a with clause let's say with member data as this whole join that we have done now it's pretty simple i can just select customer id comma uh, total price right that's what they purchased or spent then count of distinct product name 
from this member data group by customer id right as simple as that let's see what we get so we get uh, a spent 25 before becoming a member b spent 40 and both have purchased two unique products okay quite an interesting question so i'll just uh, copy this and save this to a notepad file okay and i'll yeah let it be there so that was the eighth question bit complicated but i i hope you got it so question nine if each dollar equates to 10 points and sushi has a 2x points multiplier so for sushi we'll have to consider one order of sushi uh, you know like as uh, 20 points then right for one dollar spent on sushi um, and now we want to calculate how many points would each customer have right so if they spent one dollar that's 10 points but if they spent one dollar on sushi we have to consider 20 points so let's do this let's go back here um, we can kind of use uh, the same query here I think let me just remove this and there's no membership stuff here so I can happily remove the join we are doing with the member data for the time being I can delete this query as well I mean this part of the query I'll just remove it and let's remove this for now right and I don't need the with clause as well okay and then what else so I don't need the join date Okay, so, so I'm selecting price product name uh, but for price as you see they have a small twist so what they're saying is when um, you know item is sushi so we can say case when product name is actually sushi then you have to do two times the price so we'll say two into c dot price you can say else uh, c dot price and we can give it a name new price right and that's new price so this is how the join will look like so let's see now what we are getting so the new price is like actually going to be double in the case of sushi so we could also verify that by putting the product name here and also the actual price here now you see wherever it's sushi the actual price new price becomes double for other cases like curry and ramen we see it is the same okay and they said 10x point multiplier for each dollar spent they spent 10 dollars then points is 100 they spent uh, 10 dollar on a sushi then 20 into 10 200 okay so i'll put this whole thing into like a with clause i'll say with points as i'll close and then now i just need to do customer id comma sum of points from uh, this points i mean not sum of points i mean sum of new price right that's the column we have to add up and then group by customer id Let's see what we get so we get this but remember we need to do the 10x multiplier so i will just multiply this by 10 because that was given if you remember in the question right each dollar is 10 points so if they spent 86 dollars then it's actually 860 points so I can just add that and then yeah, there you go. A spent 860, AS 860 points, B 940 and C 360 points, right? This is the answer for question number nine, right? What points they made considering sushi gets a 2X multiplier and each dollar spent means 10 points on that. Okay. That's the other question. Uh, let's go down and they're saying in the first week after customer joins the program, right? So from their join date, uh, for the next let's say six days let's consider six days they earn double the point on all items not just sushi so it's kind of similar to the last question but with extra conditions so in the first week after joining they get two two x points on every item they order not only sushi uh, and then we want to find the total points for a and b at the end of january okay so this question is a little more complicated but let me come back here and do it so here the uh, basic rule is so when product name is sushi this is there uh, but even before that let me make sure uh, you know i add back the members table because we also have to give a condition from that right so let me just do a initially do a left join 
um, I'll join the members table which we already had in the first question we did today let me call this B and I'll join on a dot customer ID equal to B dot customer ID okay now comes the conditions so first condition is when product name is sushi then twice the price then what they're saying uh, so they'll like from the join date for you know the first week they earn 2x the points on all items so how do we give that condition so we can say when the order date is between like the join date right and uh, uh, you know let's say first week so we'll say join date plus the six days including the join date so we can do uh, join date i think join date is from a table b right it's from the members table so you can say b dot join date plus interval six day right this is how we will add days in sql this is a way to do it so when it is between join date and join date plus six day then it is again 2x the price Okay, maybe I'll just bring this down, right? When it's between join date and join date plus six day, it's 2x the price again. In all the other cases, uh, it's basically normal price. So I can just put C dot price here and call this C dot. Okay, the else C dot price is already there, right? Let's leave it like that. And there's one more small twist here. We have to calculate the points at the end of January, right? So overall data we should consider is only for January. So we also need to put an extra condition at the end saying that where, uh, you know, this order date is definitely less than or equal to 2021-0131, 31st January 2021. Okay. And let's say this is like final points. I'll give it a new name. And now I can do uh, the same thing, right? The other for formula don't change. I can convert this into final points. Let's see what we get. And that's it. Uh, so they want only for uh, A and B. So to do that, we since we know C is not a member, we could remove this left join, make it a normal join. And when we run it, we'll get this. So A has got 1370 points according to this question. And then B has got 820 points. Okay. So I'm going to copy and save this. Another interesting question. Good variation of case statements asked in almost all these questions, right? find it very interesting so i'll save that also go through this question on once again but basically yes when product name is sushi it's twice the price when the order date is between the join date and join date plus six day then all items get 2x the price um, and then otherwise it's the normal price right so before the join date other items get normal price not 2x so this was basically question number 10 then they have a question, join all the things, join all the three tables and whenever they are not a member, then say N, otherwise say Y. So for this, I think we already have a nice setup here, right? Let me remove all this. And I don't even need a, a where clause for now. So again, members table, I will just do left join and we don't need this case statement anymore. And let me remove the which clause again. So we have a nice setup already. So what all do they need? They need customer ID, order date, product name, price, and member. So customer ID, order date, product name, pro price. And then we can say when this order date is less than B dot join date, then obviously they are not a member, right? I'll say then N else, uh, let's say Y in dash and I'll give it a name member and remove all this and I think this should work now you get it right so you have the customer ID order date product name price and yes of course here A was not a member yet A became a member only on the I think 7th January and same way for B so B became a member definitely after the 4th I think it was 9th you can check that date and then C obviously uh, wait order date less than uh, join date 
okay i think there's something uh, wrong here with respect to c let's go back here let's see the sample output so yeah whenever order date is less than b dot join date then n so we need to have add another condition here right so when join date is null right like when there is no join date which is the case of c then also it should be n else y and now we will see i think a better display and as you see now c has only n because it has never become a member right we missed out this condition so keep this in mind so this is the answer to just simply display the data and join all the tables and i'm going to just save this else as well and uh, there's one more question i think at the end so they want to do like join all the tables and we have these n and y right rank all the tables and then you know ranking of customer products uh based on i think date and also based on whether they were old uh, like not a member versus whether they were a member it so it's like the we have to work on this data we already have now and yeah wherever it's like yeah wherever it's no you give a ranking null so yeah let's let's see how to go about this so i'll go back to the data i am in the data now so we have to calculate a uh, rank so uh, let me put this whole thing right in a with clause right with ranking or something and from this i want to obviously select everything and then so whenever right case when member is equal to n obviously i want to give a null ranking then null right otherwise um uh, i have to say rank over then partition by customer id i think they should work let's see partition by customer id then order by customer id comma member right or yeah i should partition by customer id and member that will be better and then i'll order by actually the date right order date they want to see it in order i'll say this as rank calculation or something and from what is the name of this table it's ranking let's see if this works okay yes i should have put end because it's in a case statement now we get it right so whenever it's no it's null then you have 1 2 3 3 then null 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 then b gets 1 2 3 and then remaining c is null so this works let's just check here so that's what we want null null 1 2 3 3 in null null 1 2 3 c is always null because it is always no member right that was the output they wanted and we as you see we have it so i'm going to store this query also i'm putting all this query file in the description go through it try it out it's an interesting challenge as you see we have used a lot of different functions and calculations i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you again in another video till then take care and let me know how you enjoyed the video thank you